So now, in this video, we're coming back to uh, basically a circuit that I did a couple videos ago, but uh, we did add another LED, and I can see why. I like uh, that effect. This is an old uh, diagram, and um, so we have uh, two LEDs, and uh, they're alternating which one's getting brighter versus which one is getting darker at any given time. So we have a... Uh, double uh, fading of LEDs right there. That's because the output voltage is going up and down. One LED is coming from the uh, positive supply over there. And then as far as the output is concerned, and then the other LED is coming from the negative side, usually referred to as ground when you're using a single supply of just positive and negative. Um, so yeah, that's coming from the negative supply in relationship to the output. That LED lights up when the output's high. And then uh, this LED lights up when the output is low. Hopefully that makes sense. So, um, any case, we also um, increased the value of the resistors versus the last video. They were about half this before, 47K. Now they're 100K. So, um, that LED is flashing about half as fast as it was in the earlier video. And then we added this LED. Now, another thing to notice, of course, the short lead, the cathode, has to be more negative. The long lead, the anode, more positive in order for the LED to light up. So the uh, one on top is uh, pretty straightforward. I got the uh, long lead right there above the uh, short lead because that positive is up higher. Here you can see with this LED, we have the uh, negative side right there. So that's actually the short lead. The short lead is on top. You gotta put it in the right way or it won't light up. Longer lead is uh, down below. So plug that back in and uh, now we got them so if uh, they're off to the side they'll look like they're less bright um, they got to be facing the same way to uh, really show that they're the same brightness this capacitor too I added this I thought it was a uh, 1000 microfarad but it doesn't matter um 470 uh, microfarad to the supply rail just because if I bump the power supply it cuts power this uh, briefly powers the circuit during that uh, real short time that we lose power if I bump the uh, power supply power supply is set to 5 volts by the way I always pay attention to the voltage on the uh, circuit, um, but uh, that's what we're using for this circuit. So we have the, uh, let's go into detail about the circuit. Again, I'll kind of rush through this. I went into more detail in the earlier video. So the uh, 555 is wired in A-stable mode. We're not using the output. Output is pin three that's used to power stuff. Instead, we're interested in what the voltage of this capacitor is. And wherever you see the lines touching there, those are connections. If I didn't want this to be connected, I would have made a little jump. Um, that's the system that I'm using, even though a lot of people really hate that. Um, a lot of other people want a dot wherever there's connections. Uh, and uh, they want a no dot where there's no connections. So none of this would basically be connected in their eyes. So we have... Again, this is connected, that's connected. The uh, capacitor, as voltage is rising, right there, half the time. And uh, the pins here are sensing when it gets to two thirds supply voltage. So that's actually pin six. And then it sets the uh, output low, which we're not using. But uh, at that point, we uh, discharge. So it discharges through that one. It can't go through the diode, that's reverse bias. Current goes that way easily around that resistor. And then it has to go this way. It can't go through the uh, resistor. All these inputs are just looking at the voltage. So it discharges through that resistor until it lowers to one third supply voltage. Then pin two says, start charging again, basically. Stop discharging. Now we have the uh, op amp here. I'm using the LM358. I use them a lot. And I wrote uh, two out of two on there. So I must have, uh, in the earlier video, uh, ran a jumper up to uh, this one that's the number two this is the number one but it doesn't matter you can use either one so this is how i thought to uh, set it up right now um so yeah we got uh it's actually one out of two of them but we're using the number two out of uh, two of them according to the schematic you don't have to though it's wired as a voltage follower so we're given a voltage to this non-inverting input again it doesn't uh, count on current uh, going in or out. It just looks at the voltage, although a tiny bit of current does leak in. So if you have a really weak signal, uh, it may fail, but generally these can handle really weak uh, signals. I mean, it'd have to be really pathetic uh, for this op amp to, you know, leak enough current to throw off the voltage. 
the uh, output here. So it always wants to be more like the non-inverting input voltage than what the inverting voltage is. So it will raise or lower if these are uneven. Um, but uh, since we have the output directly to the inverting input, once they reach the same voltage, the output locks in place there. So whatever uh, voltage we set to the non-inverting input, thanks to that negative feedback, will be the output. Not going to dwell on that too long. A lot of sources explain that. If that's confusing, just keep learning about op amps. You'll get all kinds of explanations about it. Now, the uh, capacitor. So as we said before, it charges half the time up to two-thirds of the supply voltage. So the voltage is rising at that point. Um, sometimes you see the uh, power pins on the op amps, but not always. Uh, so you get, uh, it's probably like four volts, uh, but you have, because you don't get like the full five volts out of the output. Um, but during that time, the voltage will be rising up. This LED will be getting brighter. At the same time, we got five volts there, and uh, we're getting closer to five volts there. This one's getting darker. Now we get up to a two-thirds supply voltage, and then uh, pin six says, start discharging. And uh, so it starts discharging there. Any current that gets through here just goes to ground as well. It doesn't affect the capacitor. Uh, so it starts discharging. The capacitor voltage is going down, which means that the output here is getting close. It does connect to uh, ground better than uh, 5 volts. Uh, but uh, yeah, the output starts connecting more and more to uh, ground. So that dims this one. You know, we got that uh, voltage being cut down on this one. Well, this one gets brighter. It's making a better and better connection to ground that way as the voltage lowers. Um, so yeah, the process just uh, keeps repeating. As this voltage goes up, one LED gets brighter, the other dimmer. When it goes down, the other LED gets brighter while the other one uh, gets dimmer. So um, that's uh, really about it uh, for the circuit, I think. I think I covered everything. And uh, even though I meant to keep this one shorter, so again, this is just stabilizing the voltage of the board in case I bump the uh, power supply. There is the 555 timer, and it's just a stable mode. It's a basic A stable mode, but we're not using the output. We're just measuring the voltage of the capacitor with this op amp for the most part. And uh, so 10 microfarad there, 100K and 100K. So again, this is half the resistance when I used, when I made this circuit a couple of videos ago, it was basically the same circuit but that LED was not there. And uh, also, this LED was flashing about twice as fast, you know, fading on and off about twice as fast because the resistors there were about half value. So I doubled both their values, so both the uh, charge and discharge of the capacitor is going to take about twice as long. And then uh, there's that diode I mentioned before. So it lets the current through that resistor go around that uh, resistor. Uh, but then during discharge, all the current has to go through that resistor because it can't go through the diode. Diodes let current go one way. And uh, so the that's going to the discharge pin, pin 7 up there. Right here we got pin 6. That uh, acts when we get to two-thirds supply voltage. Pin 2 acts when we get to one-third supply voltage. So they're bouncing the voltage back and forth between each other. That's their goal when they're wired in a stable mode. And uh, so we're actually looking at the voltage of the inputs, as I said on the schematic. So that's going up to the non-inverting input. So that's the third pin down, whether you're using uh, this one or that one. Uh, but we got the supply pins on the uh, opposite ends. So the top there, that would be output, inverting input, non-inverting input. The very top there is the output, the inverting input, non-inverting input. And then we have our voltage down there. So same pin layout, but uh, they're just kind of shuffled uh, one spot due to the power pins. And uh, so yeah, you can see we come up to the non-inverting input, and then that little blue jumper right there, that uh, puts the output to the inverting input, which is the way that you get the output to be the same voltage as the non-inverting input. Um, this can't provide a ton of uh, current though. Probably about what we're lighting with the LEDs is probably close to its limit. And uh, so you'd wanna use transistors or something to amplify uh, the power if you're trying to do a more uh, power hungry load like a uh, much higher wattage LEDs or something So in any case, there's our output again. That's the short lead cathode long lead anode because that comes from positive supply uh, Pretty common there, um, but over here So I have the uh, resistor not to the output but to the inverting input But that little jumper makes them the same node. It's the same connection point 
So it doesn't matter if I put the resistor there or up there, it's a direct connection to both the output and the inverting input. 220 ohms again, since uh, we're using a red LED, that'll make them about the same brightness right there. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.